You can learn it, but you're never going to be a good climber. That's the same on the cobbles. Uh, you can be in the front, but if the real guy's going full on the cobbles, you're dropped. That's it, that's very a bit. You have to think about yourself and your team. Just about yourself and forget the rest. Don't think about anyone. If somebody crashes, you have to jump over him. That's Paris Obey. You want to be that hero of the day. Of course you're thinking about other heroes. Uh, Roger de Vramik has won five, five times. Uh, Eddie Merckx, uh, plenty of, of heroes. That day you have to think about yourself. All the riders have uh, dif no, difficult no, problems no. after Paris Robin. Especially for uh, the prostate, the impact. The first thing that you do uh, here in your life is to try to do a pee. It's hard a lot. Paris-Roubaix actually begins in Compiègne, about 80 kilometers to the north of Paris. It then heads north through various cobble sections, the first section coming after about 100 kilometers, before reaching the notorious zone of the famous crossing of the forest of Arenberg, a zone which tends to influence who wins the day. But even when they've crossed the forest, there's still 100 kilometers to ride. Sans coiffe comme de l'héroïque, irrésistible mais contenu par sa petite raison virile en foudre. Soucieux, expiatoire et pubère, muet, rire, que si la lucide et lordly crest of vertigo on the invisible brow sparkles, then shades. A slim, dark tallness. Every thought expresses a throw of the dice. Let me show you. The Germans are on the street. Look, all the way from Compiègne. All the way up. Wanna ask? Roubaix. 
We're nearly at Roubaix. The marks were beyond former calculation. Where the lost maneuver with the aid rose, implying that formerly he grasped the helm of this conflagration of the concerted. Horizon at his feet, it readies itself, moves and merges, but the blow that grips it, as one threatens fate and the winds. I like that. As one threatens fate and the winds. As one threatens fate and the winds! You know, that part of Norsta had a, a history behind it. Ta grande totale en formation, veillant, tout en roulant, brillant et méditant. Cold with neglect and dissuitude. Not so much, though, that it fails to enumerate on some vacant and superior surface. was my last training before I was leaving to Benidorm for the World Champions. I want to do uh, three hours uh, a normal training. He wants that I stop, but I never stopped on training. I was always focused for my training. He said to me, uh, your living is in Havar. That's mean, uh, your life is in danger. On that moment, he get out that paternoster and he said to me, keep it, it protects you. I'm really afraid to believe in such kind of things. In the evening, the day before, I put my pot and nostril in my shoes because I prepare always the day before everything. Pot and nostril was always in the left side. When you are at the end of this zone and nothing's happened, Everybody is happy. You don't win the race here, but you can lose the race here. I did uh, eight times to Paris Roubaix. One time was very difficult. So uh, this year should be also very, very bad on the cobblestone. So um, I think with uh, bad weather, when it's when it's wet, it's uh, it's harder. It's, uh, it's also uh, more flat tires and also more crashes. We shall see this evening. You have to go full over here, otherwise it's better you don't do Paris It's always a sprint to take the entry. We're going too fast, it was very slippery. So uh, the first two riders going too fast, that was the problem. We don't have the control on the bike. I was saying to myself, I have to do something because we're gonna crash. And on that moment, we crashed already. Somebody's gone down already, Phil, and this is going to be the start of uh, the massacre of the Arenberg Forest because there are riders all over the place there. But it looks as if Johan Museo and Stefano De Zanini have disappeared. I think they too have gone down in the crashes. And indeed, uh, Museo has fallen and apparently has stopped on the roadside. He has a knee injury. Uh, that's all we know at the moment. But uh, it looks as though Museo is in big trouble.
That chaos is in the forest of Orenburg. You don't imagine how, how, how bad it is, but after a, a half a minute or a minute, then you feel the pain, and then you look to the knee, and then you see the bone. I know already from the start that I forgot my uh, partner Nostra. Ce serait pire, non davantage, ni moins, indifféremment, mais autant le hasard. Choix, la plume rythmique suspend du sinistre, sans se lire aux écumes originelles. Naguère d'où sursauta son... We are tough, we are hard. We can feel more pain than anybody else. Suspend du sinistre, sans se lire aux écumes originelles. Naguère d'où sursauta son délire jusqu'à une cime. I didn't know yet it was broken. They tell me it was broken in four pieces. But you don't know on that moment you crashed in the shit of a horse. Because the days afterwards, when I have already the infection. A couple of days later, when the professor was uh, talking to my family and say, probably today we're going to amputate the leg. That day they have the Pater Nostro with them. And in the evening, it was necessary to amputate my leg. A throw of the dice, never. Even when truly cast into the eternal circumstance of a shipwreck's depth, can be only the abyss. Raging, whitened, stalled. The professor said to me, it's gonna be impossible to ride with the bike again. So I say, we will see. What I can say about uh, the Pater Noster, I give it to somebody, my last race. I never say to nobody to who I give it. So uh, today I don't say as well that I give it to.